<clears throat> All right, well, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. So last week in the Wildcard Wednesday video, towards the very end, I unsuccessfully made an attempt to build my Atmazoo tripod RTA. I bought this RTA mo months ago, months ago, and never really got around to building it but it's vaping really great now with a lot of help from my patrons. Vapor Swaggins helped me in particular building this RTA. I'm gonna have a full review for this RTA at some point in the future, but today I wanted to try to find a mod to put it on. And you're probably saying, hey, Grim Green, it's already on a mod. And I would say to you, Yes, that is accurate. But this is such a cool, slick RTA that I kind of want to put it on, I don't know, something cooler, something more slick. I've got about a decade's worth of mods, just mods that I've been collecting over the years in boxes, and I want to try to find one that suits this RTA a little bit more. I'm sure every YouTuber has a different little system, you know, a different method, a, little, a different process for things like coming into the office, whether, you know, things you're gonna review, things you're gonna keep, things you're gonna give away, different storage solutions and whatnot. I've never really been good at that. I'm never really an organized person, so I have to jump in my closet and dig out a bunch of heavy boxes. But it's cool, like there might be some surprises in there as well. Mods we haven't seen in years. Back here in this cabinet is where I keep a bunch of my mods. I call them on deck mods. They're just devices over the past few months that I've like singled out as things that I really enjoy and I kind of keep them back here. So when the time comes, like maybe when I get a cool new RTA or something, I can pull out one of my favorite on deck mods and use it. Things like, you know, my Titan, in here, keep my Gen in here, SQ Topside, Aspen Modco Monarch. It's where my Dull Dime Mods lives. Other cool mods and squonkers like the Luna and the Roxasa. On deck, you know, ready to go. Mods I know I like at a moment's notice, on deck. Problem was the only on deck device I had was this Loch Ness. And look, the Loch Ness, it's a fine device. Single 21700, plenty of power, a little smaller of a form factor, you know, for a little single coil tank. The setup just isn't doing it for me, and I legitimately want, I feel like the Atmazoo tripod deserves to sit on top of a cooler device. So I think it's time to dig through some boxes. All right, so this isn't every mod box that I have. There's still some on the top of my closet that I can't get to that just says mods and other stuff. I'm also not really good at labeling boxes, but I feel like this is more than enough to start with. We should be able, if I can't, look, if I can't find a mod I like out of all of these boxes, that there's something wrong, I just need to close this channel. We should be able to find something dope in here to put this, put this tank on. Where did you go, tank? Ah. I really, really do like this tank, so we need to find something cool for it. Oh, so all of these boxes are filled with devices, which means they're heavy. Oh, okay, this looks to be a little bit newer of stuff. Like Vapes Recurve in here, Squonker. Oh, I have a Bassium in here. I have a Detonator in here. I have a Wake. Modco in here. Oh, I got some mech mods I'm gonna pull out. I'm actually gonna pull these mech mods out of here. The Torin, the Torin, the L Thunder, definitely the L Thunder. I really liked this mech mod. Not in this video, but maybe in another video, I'll show you my mech mod collection that's all like over on this shelf over here. Same idea as the cabinet, just on deck mech mods. Mech mods just ready to go at a moment's notice. I really liked this regulated V-God mod. I should get this out again. See, that's the problem. That's the problem with going through boxes is I can't, I just want to get everything out. I constantly just want to, I should get this mod out again. I should get this mod out again. I should get this mod out again. Okay, so I don't think there's going to be anything in this particular box that is going to be what I'm looking for. Oh, there's a whole nother layer under there I haven't even got to. And some things I keep not because they're like, incredible mods or really, really very innovative for their time or something like that. A lot of this stuff gets kept for sentimental reasons like this device right here. Segeli, Shikra, not an overly awesome, innovative or cool mod. Uh, I just happened to use this during my wedding and so this will, I will never get rid of this device. Oh my gosh. 
Hey, there it is. Because everybody needs a vapor giant. Oh, there's some good retro vape stuff in here, you guys. I used to really love this, that Gabriel mod, the As Vape Gabriel. Uh, I'll leave this one out. Oh, this is a maybe. I'll leave this one out as a maybe. Truly and honestly, I'm kind of trying to find something for my K-Fun as well because I got an Ultem crystal, you know, the Ultem cap for my K-Fun. So I'm trying to find something cool for my K-Fun with the Ultem on it. I know, Ultem, I don't know. All right, well, I feel like this box was kind of a bust, except for that one uh, Gabriel that I pulled out. Oh yeah, the Vapor SO Polar, what a great mod. I don't even know what box to look in. 2017 and 2018 or 2016 and 2017? Uh, yeah, there's not gonna be much in this box. Man, I should really label these better. The Sense Mod with the lights. Remember the LEDs that you could shine it on your face when you're vaping? No, I'm probably not gonna put it on this mod. No, no, V-God Max. Oh, there's an old Kennedy Ruby in here. Okay. Oh, this guy, this Segeli. I used to rock this constantly with a K-Fun, constantly. Should I keep this guy out too? Uh, solo mods, So what is what does that mean? Oh, holy shit. Oh, my 44, my Joe Lit 44 is in here. Can you believe that? This was the original like DNA 40 big lipo mod. Yeah, some retro stuff. Oh, my Revenant, Revenant, an Orion in here. Oh dang, my white culture of clouds hexome is in here too. Leave that hexome out as well. Well, we're gonna have to go farther back in time. Oh, we have gone very far back in time. Maybe uh, too far back? Oh, the orange. The orange Asmodus. What was the name of this? I legitimately loved the crap out of this. What was this mod called? Asmodus, Minikin. This is the Minikin, Minikin 2. Minikin was a really great device. Oh, good Lord, an old lava box. Volcano lava box and the CKS mod. I always like the CKS stuff. I thought it looked cool. Pulse? Yeah, I think my Mi 1 leaked in here. That's good. Oh, lava box, the Drip Tech DS. Oh! Drip Tech down. Drip Tech DS down. Uh, I think this box is a bust too. My first order Trooper series box. I got this at ECC in 2015, I think. It had a first order Trooper on it and it was just a wooden series box. It's just a cool device. I feel like this needs to be on display. Yeah, you're coming out too. Okay, so far the Gabriel is winning. So far the Gabriel is winning. Might end up putting this Atmazoo tripod on the Gabriel. Weird move, weird, I didn't, weird turn of events. I didn't think it was gonna turn out like this either. I have another box to go through, but the Gabriel's winning. Minikin's gonna stay out as well. Oh dang, this is some old school shit too. Ooh, an old Grim Army Hexome. Holy crap. Yeah, it was pretty cool, pretty cool. This wooden mod, Casey Pickle used to love this wooden mod. It was just a parallel unregulated with a wooden button and we liked the bottom because it looked like a face. Mm. Mm. Oh, good Lord, oh my God. Axis Vapes M17 and it still works and has battery life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this in right now. Oh, please charge. Yes! Oh, Axis Vapes M17! Oh man, I, dude, I have more hexomes than I thought I did. Just found another red and black hexome that says Toot Life down the side. Yeah, Toot Life. Oh, remember this? Remember, what, what, I don't even know what this is called. Remember this? I found my billet box. Holy fuck, I thought this was gone forever. I'm the happiest I have ever been. I'm just in shock right now. Hi! Oh yeah, this could be cool. All my Stabwood Minikins are in here. All my Stabwood Minikins. Should I just run a Stabwood Minikin with the Atmazoo tripod? I was thinking Atmazoo tripod at just a single coil, just a single 18650 banger, but maybe I'll put it on a Stabwood Asmodus Minikin. Two more Stabwood Asmodus Minikin 2s. Dang. All right. Uh, Asmodus Minikin 2. I just decided this is what the tripod is going on. Yes. 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 The K-Fun is going to go on the Gabriel. I need some new batteries. So this is where we ended up. I don't know, it's a little bit better of a fit for such a nice RTA. You know, I paid like a hundred bucks for this RTA. I wanna put it on something nice. Awesome. 
Got a dope mod for my tripod to live on now. We found a bunch of cool stuff, including my billet box. Today's mission, apart from editing this video, oh, I will get this billet box working. But this is my new hotness for today, so thank you so much for watching, everybody. That's kind of all I got for today. I was sitting on a hexome. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody, and don't forget, no matter what any crooked politician tells you, absolutely find the right tank, find the right mod, absolutely keep on vaping. <laughs>